kids, Dr. Brooks here. Today we're going to do the tangent graph. We've already covered the sine and the cosine, and I already have the quarter plane with the fundamental period out here from negative pi to pi for you for us to graph the tangent. So let's start at zero and go towards positive infinity first. So what is the tangent of zero? So here's zero. What is the tangent of zero? Well, if you recall, The tangent is the sine over the cosine. So here we are at zero pi, or zero degrees, and if we put the sine over the cosine, that would be zero over one. So the tangent of zero is zero. Let's plot that. And then the next one I have up here is pi over four. Now we know that there is a pi over six here and there is a pi over three here before we get to pi over two, but let's just go to pi over four and see what happens. So pi over four is our 45 degrees. And if you remember, the ordered pair is square root of two over two over square root of two over two. So if we put that sine over that cosine, we do the sine over the cosine and anything over itself is one. So, the tangent at pi over 4 is 1. So let's go to pi over 2. So we go to pi over 2, which is 90 degrees, and again we put the sine over the cosine. So that's 1 over 0 this time, if we put the sine over the cosine. Well, if you recall, when you have a 0 in the denominator, it is undefined, and it creates a vertical asymptote. So we're going to put in that vertical asymptote like this. All right? Now, before we go forward and we go to our 3 pi over 4, let's go backwards. Let's go in a negative direction around the circle and see what happens. So if we go negative pi over 4, that means we go down 45 degrees, which would be, if you remember, coterminal angles, coterminal with 7 pi over 4, same deal. So the ordered pair is square root of 2 over 2 comma negative square root of 2 over 2. So if I put the sine over the cosine, I would get a negative 1. So I'm down here at negative 1. Okay? So we're going to go back to negative pi over 2, which is coterminal with 3 pi over 2. And if I put the sine over the cosine, guess what? Vertical asymptote. And we have just found one period, or one wavelength of the tangent graph. It goes like this. And I promise you, if you put in your pi over 6, this will line up. If you put in your pi over 3, they all line up just like that. So. There is no amplitude. We were discussing period and amplitude. There is no amplitude because the direction of um, this goes to positive infinity and this will go to negative infinity because of the vertical asymptotes. And the period runs, if this is half a pi and this is half a pi, half of a pi plus a half of a pi is a whole pi. So the period of the tangent is pi. So. I'm graphing this on the interval negative pi to positive pi. So therefore, I have to add in just a little bit. So since the tangent does, okay, let's say it does this every pi. So a half of this needs to go right here. And then this half, hard to see, but there you go, goes this way. And that's your tangent graph. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.